one of the things I want to share with you today is that I feel that we often celebrate the full moon. We make offering, we put our crystal, we maybe do a special altar, prayers, rituals, uh, but often we don't look at the new moon in the same way. And I've personally experienced deep shifts and real cosmic magic when I work with a new moon. When we look at shamanism and the ancient cosmology, especially in the cosmology, the one I've been studying for the past 15 years, we are always reminded that everything works in duality. We need masculine, feminine, dark, light, above, below, inside, out, east, west, and on and on. There is always wisdom on each side of that duality. And in fact, the ultimate wisdom, the truth, as we could call it, the ultimate truth is the capacity to embrace the opposite and to find the same relationship with the dark as we find with the light. And that's something difficult for most people and for myself, right? When everything goes well, we feel relaxed, we feel joy, we feel open, we feel soft. But when things are more difficult physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, we start resisting and we judge. We don't welcome the dark teacher in the same way as we welcome the light teacher. So working with a new moon is a beautiful opportunity to try to see the power the wisdom, the healing that is available in the darkness. In Indian cosmology, the underworld, the unseen world, is called Uku Pacha. It's the world of the unmanifested, below the earth, the dark world, or the world of the womb of creation, where things are not yet manifested. When things are unseen, when things are still in a process of creation and the beginning of that process of creation is complete void. Think of the birth of the universe right before the Big Bang, right before the expansion. Think of the womb space when a seed is planted. Think of any dreams and ideas you ever had that maybe never came to fruition, or maybe they did. In fact, look around you right now, maybe in your house or in your car or in nature, and see how everything that is there was first in an unmanifested form. Even this computer I'm recording this podcast on was before a computer, just a dream, just an idea. Someone a long time ago thought about creating such device and maybe the creation today is way beyond their wildest dreams. So the elder, the ancient wisdom of Indian cosmology is always asking us to remember and to connect to this part of creation to the first part, to the one that we don't see. And from there, move into the second world, the world of the fire, the Kai Pacha, the domain of the Puma, where we manifest, where we go into action, where the dreams or the idea or the visions we had can be transformed through action and started to be manifested. And those steps are really important because if you want to go with the flow of nature or the cosmic flow, the law of physics are all embedded into that order. And in a culture, in a society that we live in right now, we only go through the fire and the mind, which is the wind element. But we rarely give space and time for the unseen, the unknown, the dark, the unmanifested, and the power of the dream space. 
So that new moon is really an invitation to deep dive into that place. It really symbolizes this fresh start, this blank state. And in the darkness, we can find the potential for growth and renewal. In the darkness, we can let go and see what's in the way of creation, empty the space, release it, and finally create from that blank state. Light came out of darkness, like we grow from this darkness following the cosmic cycles that we are all weaved in and that we have forgotten. This world moves at a frenetic pace and we hardly take the time to stop, to pause, to breathe. We honor very often or get more excited by a sunny day or the summer than we are by the winter or a cloudy day because we have such resistance to embrace not just the darkness in the world, but mainly our own darkness. That's what the new moon always invited me to. It's seeing what's really troubling me, what's troubling the world, my communities, my relationships, and courageously with great discipline, allow myself to drop in to this world. This is the world of the spirit animal, the underworld journeys. This is a world where we can see beyond the veil of what is happening, beyond just the anxiety or the fear. We can drop down into the soul. In fact, this movement is very ancient, not just in the universe, but in the creation of the self. If you think of your soul as the unseen potential that contains all the wisdom you need for this life, it is not something that is happening or is seen in the mind first. It is something that is experienced deep down in the body. The desire to change, the desire to create, the calling for purpose and meaning, everything that is really important, that matters, is down there so this energy of the new moon today and any new moon urges us to focus inward and to align with our deeper selves the deeper self is not agitated it is not anxious it is full of knowledge it is grounded it knows and maybe you have had that experience where you felt something deeply in you, even if you didn't know how to go about it, what to do about it, yet there was something calling you. So the journey from darkness to light is an opportunity to set intentions, to manifest our goals and to begin new projects. And then as we go out, or come out of this darkness and move into the second world, the uh, Kaipacha, the fire, we manifest, we create, we write, we get new projects, we go into actions and movement. When that is done, we will access the third world, Hanan Pacha, the sky being, the higher perspective, the new perspective. 